This is video three of the unit three review video. Um, number 13 asks you to find the x and y intercepts for this equation. Remember that you can find an x intercept by setting y equal to zero. Remember anything that works in an equation is a solution. Uh, if you make y equal to zero, that negative five y goes away and you would be left with three x equals 15. And that means that x would be five. So the point five zero oh, uh, five zero is on that graph. And if you graph that, that's five on the x axis. It's right there. Um, if you want to find the y-intercept, you do the reverse. You set x equal to 0. Um, if you set x equal to 0, this 3x goes away, and you have negative 5y equals 15. And, of course, if negative 5y is equal to 15, y is negative 3. So if you plot the point 0, negative 3, it's going to hit negative 3 on the y-axis, and your line goes through this point and that point, and it would look something kind of like that. Okay? Same thing here. Uh, for the x-intercept, we can set the y equal to 0, and you get negative 2x is equal to 16, and that means the x-intercept is going to be negative 8, okay? And you can plot the point negative 8 comma 0 if you're going to graph it. Uh, for the y-intercept, you can set x equal to 0. If you set x equal to 0, that negative 2x goes away, you get 4y equals 16. Your y-intercept would be equal to 4, okay, when x is equal to 0. And the point 0, 4, of course, is going to be on the y-axis. You can plot that point. Okay? Um, I'm going to do some more graphing problems on this video. Why not? Um, so we've got a bunch of graphing things here. And you just have to decide what form you want to put these in. You know, you can put them in slope-intercept form every time. Y equals mx plus b form. Um, but sometimes it might be easier to do intercepts. Like, for example, here I notice 3 and 6 both go into 18. I think I'd rather just find the x-intercept and the y-intercept. So the x-intercept is when I make y 0. And if y is 0, that negative 6x goes away, I'd get 3x equals 18. And if 3x equals 18, then x would be 6 when the y is 0. So I plot the point 6, 0 on the x-axis. And then for the y-intercept, I make x 0, so that 3x goes away. You get negative 6y is equal to 18. You get negative 3 there. And that'd be the point 0, negative 3 on the y-axis. And your line passes through there. Do make sure you actually draw the line. Make sure you show arrows. Patterns can continue on infinitely. Okay, second one. Um, this one doesn't work as well for intercepts because 2 doesn't divide evenly into 15. So this is one I might do in slope-intercept form. I might isolate the y variable here. I think that might allow me to plot points a little bit better. Um, so we can subtract 2x from both sides. You'll get negative 5y is equal to negative 2x plus 15 and we could divide by negative five. Now remember, when you divide an equation by a value, you gotta divide every term by that value. So we gotta divide negative two x by negative five and 15 by negative five. And we're gonna end up getting y is equal to, uh, negative divided by negative is a positive, so it's gonna be two fifths x minus three, okay? Remember, this is your y-intercept. The value in front of your x is your slope. So we're hitting the y-axis at negative three. And the slope is two fifths, so you're rising two and you're running one, two, three, four, five, and it'd really be good if I could grab some more points, but you don't need to see that on this video. So you can draw your line and be done with it. All right, number 17 is x equals three. Remember that an equation tells you what's true about a function. So they're telling you, you're plotting all the points that have an x-coordinate of three. And so that might be like three, zero, and three, one, and three, two, and three, three, and three, negative one, and so on. And that would be here, and here, and here, and here, and here, and here. It's going to be a vertical line, okay? Also remember that a vertical line has an undefined slope. Uh, you never hear about an equation that's y equals undefined x plus 2 or something like that. So the undefined slope is the one that has the weird equation set up. It's equal to x instead of y. All right, y equals x plus 4. Remember, that's a 1x. That's a slope of 1 over 1. So y-intercept is 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Slope's 1, so you go up 1 over 1, up 1 over 1. Perfect 45-degree angle line right there. There's your line. Okay? Um, number 19, this would be a good uh, slope-intercept form 1. Um, this would be a good intercepts one, too. I, I think I'm going to do intercepts. It's actually faster. I'm going to move the 2y to the other side. You don't have to do this, but... You could write this as 4x plus 2y is equal to 8. So if you make y 0, 4 times 2 would be 8. That means the x-intercept is 2. Uh, if you make x 0, 2 times 4 is 8. That means the y-intercept would be 4. And that's a line that goes through like that. All right? 
And finally, really boring one compared to number 17, x equals 3, uh, x equals 5, that'd be a vertical line, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I'm wondering if I was intending to make that a y equals, uh, had it been y equals, that's the same thing as y equals 0x, sorry, if it had been y equals 5, that would be the same thing as y equals 0x plus 5, it's a y-intercept, and then the slope would be 0, which would be horizontal, and it would go this way, but remember your y equations are your horizontal equations. But those are my graphs.